The 2014 Tasmanian Micro Business Award winner is Handbuilt Creative. Andrew, you mentioned uh, at the start of your speech that you couldn't understand oh an Irishman. God. If you'd uh, like to step outside, we can <laughs> settle this. The first website I ever built in Australia was actually in the back of our four-wheel drive, which we called home for 18 months. My wife, Misha, and I would scrounge power from the rest stops and the barbecue areas that we found as we toured around Tasmania looking for land. Building this first website couldn't be further from the previous life we had in the UK, where I designed for companies like Microsoft. We had no fixed income, no home, yet we were blissfully happy because we traded money for something much more precious, time with each other. Eventually, my daughter Isla, who's sitting over there, came along and things had to change. I scored a creative director's job running a web design company in Hobart. And life was actually pretty good. However, two years later, when my son Archie, who's also sitting over there, was just three weeks old, I was made redundant. So, scraping together enough money to last just two months, I took a very deep breath and started handbuilt. And believe me, Archie wasn't the only one who was filling his pants at that point. <laughs> But when I looked back, <laughs> I realized that the fear I felt had only helped to sharpen my approach to business. But I had been one of the lucky ones. By the age of 19, I had become a director of a multi-million dollar workers cooperative. And as you can imagine, this is uh, incredibly helpful for running a micro business, which, like a cooperative, forces us to work on our business as well as in it. I tried to think strategically, even in those early days, carefully making decisions and seeing them through to completion without fail. Although Handbuilt had started life as a business web design company, over the last five years, we have listened to our clients and diversified to meet the demands that they have for software development, brand management, and integrated marketing. We're now lucky enough to work at the upper end of the market having designed projects for global and national organizations, along with various state governments. But it didn't start out that way. Initially, we had to prove our credibility to everybody else. And we did it the harder way, by over-delivering on every project to help us climb the ladder. And gradually, bit by bit, our client base and our reputation grew. We grew Handbuilt by thinking like a big business and using design to brand the company like a big business. I think our breakout point was in our third year of operation when we designed and developed a website that was voted as one of the world's top 10 youth websites at the Webby Awards alongside, believe it or not, Disney.com and Lego.com. Up until now, this has been our defining achievement but I can quite safely say that this Telstra Business Award right there means much, much more considering the high standard of finalists who sit here today and the prestige that the awards hold. If there's one thing I hope that these awards could do, it was to allow our story to be told so that perhaps even a few inspired people could trust the power of design and branding to allow their business to compete at a global level regardless of size. I'm truly humbled that Handbuilt has been chosen to receive this award, and I'd like to obviously thank Telstra and News Corp for giving micro-business like Handbuilt the chance to tell their story. And obviously I'd like to thank Mitski for helping me write this story, as it were, and for sharing my passion of design. Naturally, we couldn't have got this far without our clients, many of whom have become very close friends. So my sincere thanks go to everybody who we have worked with. And of course, to my wife, Mish, to my kids, Isla and Archie, who must they think that they're the lowest priority in my life. Well, 
Nothing could be further from that truth. Thank you.